Hi there. I am representing WebTrackOfficial.com. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at WebTrackOfficial.com. In this video I am going to show you, how you can speed up your WordPress website, including how you can connect your website to CDN servers. Faster page load time deliver serious benefits when it comes to improving website performance, including more page views, higher conversion rates and more revenue. So let's get right into it. While creating your website you must have installed, activated and deactivated a lot of plugins, which creates database tables. So optimizing your database simply means delete unwanted data tables. That way things get more organized and less cluttered. This also gives you additional space in your valuable database memory which can be utilized for more productive tasks in future. So we're gonna be needing a plugin to do all that. So hover on plugins and click add new. Now search for plugin named, WP Optimize. It's a great plugin with 1 million active installations. Click install. Now click activate. Now in your left sidebar, new menu item has been created named WP Optimize. Click on it. Here you can see, necessary items are already checked. But before optimizing make sure to back up your website in case anything goes wrong. If you don't know how to back up your WordPress website, watch this video here. Post revisions is a WordPress feature that allows you to undo changes and go back to an earlier version of your posts and pages. For each draft you are working on, WordPress automatically saves a temporary revision. WordPress also saves post revisions each time a user clicks on the save, update, or publish button. So it takes a lot of space on your database. So make sure it's checked. Now click on Run All Selected Optimization button. Here you can see the process has started. Optimizing database tables gonna take some time. So be patient. Optimization is complete. Speed test your website on GT Metrics after every optimization step you take. Image compression is a technique to reduce the size of your image files in order to make your website load faster. While website is loading you must have noticed that images are loading very slowly like this. It means that the image quality is way too high and taking up more space on server which is preventing the site from loading faster. So you need to compress your images. First, let's look at the settings. These are all the images which needs compression. You need to choose your compression option. Maximum compression means that your image files will be fully compressed also the quality of the image will decrease. But retention of detail means that the image files will be compressed but keep the quality of the image. The image quality will be better. So I recommend to choose the second option. Also if you want to compress every newly added image automatically, enable this option. Now click on select all. Scroll down and click on compress selected images button. Now the server will calculate the images that needs compression and start the process. This will take some time so be patient. Caching is the temporary storage of web documents such as HTML pages and images. Basically, your web browser stores copies of web pages you visited recently to reduce its bandwidth usage, server load, and lag. So enable page cache option. Under cache settings, you can define the time when you want to generate a cache file. Enable this option if you want to enable separate cache files for mobile devices. Also if you want to generate a separate cache file for logged in users, you can do that here. But I will not recommend that. Once you have done your changes, just click save changes. Now scroll up and click on preload option. Click on Run Now. What this will do, it will preload the pages for users who visit the first time. This process also gonna take some time so be patient.
Final step is to add your site to CDN. A content delivery network, CDN, is a group of geographically distributed servers that speed up the delivery of web content by bringing it closer to where users are. So to add your website to CDN servers, go to the Cloudflare website and sign up with your email. Click on Create Account. Now to add your site, click Add Site button. Now type the URL of your website. Remove the protocol if it says Invalid Domain, and click Add Site. Now you need to select a plan. I am going to select a free plan, so scroll down and select the free plan. Click Continue. Now just scroll down and click Continue. Now you need to change your name server with the Cloudflare name servers. These are the name servers that you need to add. So copy it. And log into your hosting account. In the Domain tab, click on More. Now change the name servers by clicking on Change. Once done, click on Save. Now go back to the Cloudflare website. Scroll down and click Check Name Servers. Now click on Get Started. Click Save. Now enable this option. Always use HTTPS. Click Save. Now click Save again and click save again. Now click finish. Now scroll down and click check name servers. Once this message appears, refresh the page. We have successfully connected our site with Cloudflare. If you don't see this message immediately, Try refreshing the page after 5 minutes. Now go back to your dashboard. Now we need to install Cloudflare plugin. So hover on plugins and click add new. Search for Cloudflare. Install it. Click activate. Cool. We're almost done. Now click on Settings. Now here you need to sign in. So to sign in, click this link. Now you need to enter the same email with which you signed in. But first you need to verify your email. So open your Gmail. Now click the link to verify your account. Here you can see, email is now verified. Click on Continue to Dashboard. Here you can see, domain is now active. Now you need to enter the API key token. So to generate the API key, click the Get API Key link. Now click on API Tokens tab. Scroll down. Now in front of Global API Key, click the View button. Now enter your password. Complete the CAPTCHA. Click View. Now copy this API key. Now click Save API Credentials. And now we're all done. So these were some methods with which you can increase your website load speed. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, Alligator.